So just a quick video guys, um, recently just enclosed the back of my garage, I just seems to working on it, but um, at the same time I was going to insulate the front of the garage door, I found um, this insulation, it was actually from doing my um, dining room um, laminate flooring, this is underneath all the flooring to keep moisture and uh, the heat in, and I just thought I'd put it up there just to see if it made any difference at all and whether it's worthwhile in me insulating this old garage, steel garage door. And I thought I'd just show you the difference in temperature. Bit of a quick thermal probe. So, steel door, saying 13.4 Celsius. It's not a cold day today, it's been about 15, 16 all day long. And, you know, it's not cold today, but garage door's in at 13.4. We move up. As you can see, it's quite loose at the minute, and so there's an air barrier there. I've actually got some, there's some, up here there's some vents that go outside, like these ones here. As you can just see, it's like little vents that just go to the front of the door. So I taped all around that, and made a nice air pocket. On the other side is foam, this side is in, is a silver foil. So, different temperature. So what this? So it's twenty two point seven. But I don't think that's that's completely accurate. Well, I'd say more is probably more like twenty degrees. So that's what nine degrees difference temperature. And you can actually feel it by your hand. If I touch down here and Steve is cold, I can actually feel heat in comparison up here. Try somewhere else just to show. Obviously, it does reflect some of the laser. 20.7.5. I'd probably say that's probably the more accurate of the two results. But even so, that's still a 7 degrees Celsius difference just by putting a small bit of insulation. Every door. Not bad.